Oh, good morning, Internet. Thought today we'd show a automatic mushroom farm. Here's your basic setup, the way... Yeah, I've got this going. You can just kind of keep repeating this. The idea is your dupes come up here, drop the slime in the loaders, comes into a chlorine room, cleans the slime, it then gets shipped out and distributed. Your auto sweepers will plant if a fungal spore is within range. Like this one can't see that, so it can't plant over there. So occasionally you have to let the dupes in to move the fungal spores over. Set them all to not auto harvest. You see these are a few that the auto sweepers planted. That way the dupes don't try to run in and keep the door closed. As long as you keep the air pressure above two kilos, then your slime won't outgas. Also, if your conveyor rails are inside of solids, they can't outgas. So shipping-wise, this is pretty easy. The dupes come in, drop slime in here, clean off the slime lung from the wash basins. This I set up to try to get the slime germs off the slime, but turned out to be completely unnecessary. Once this rail got full, then it just, yeah, fixed all the germs before they even got going. So, there they are, cleaning themselves. So, yeah, kind of rotates a bit. Not necessary. Shipping rails then come through the solids, end up in these two conveyor receptacles. These auto sweepers are just the right size to hit everything. If you make it one narrower, then you only need one conveyor receptacle. And then you just rinse, repeat as many times as you need for all the dupes you have in order to feed them. I don't think I ever gave that door power. And then have your auto sweepers pick up the mushrooms once they auto drop. Come over here and get cooked. In this map, I happen to have lettuce, so I've got mushroom wrap going on. Don't need anybody right now. Oh, damn it. That's what's going on. I love that door open. Yeah, there's no need for you guys to come in there and disinfect it. No, you. There's no need for you to be in there. It will disinfect itself. There. All right. So like these will have a bunch of slime lung on them, but they will automatically die off on a solid over time. And everything here in the chlorine room will die off automatically. Originally I had my coal generators in here to generate this carbon dioxide. But once I got natural gas generators, then I just Pump it over to keep the pressure up. Oh, that's probably somebody fleeing. Yeah, so occasionally you open up the doors, you'll have the dupes come in, plant the mushrooms. Let them do that, then. Oh, never mind, they ran out of air. That's fine, you can stay outside. And then I always, always want to turn off auto harvest so you do don't try to run in in case if you leave the door open. Why are you not picking up? Anyway, so that's the mushroom farm we got going on this map. I like it. It's given me plenty of food. I said I'm slowly grabbing lettuce and turning it into mushroom rats, but this one guy is just going to keep cooking all the mushroom. Once they become harvest ready, it takes a few cycles for them to fall off. So you do need a lot of mushrooms if you're going for the auto harvest. But all in all, it has worked out quite well. You know, do whatever you got to do temperature wise to keep it all nice and steady. Oh, you were nice. That's what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to uh, keep my dupe from dying and thanks for watching.